PFLAG Halton issued a statement this week expressing their disappointment in the Halton Catholic District School Board for allowing what they call transphobic and homophobic discussions at the board meeting on April 20th. Burlington trustee Brenda Agnew had tabled a motion to allow rainbow pride flags outside school buildings and safe space posters inside classrooms. The motion was deferred at Tuesday's meeting after nearly three hours of delegations. Whitney Ross is the co-lead with PFLAG Halton and says it was another sign of the unfortunate reality that 2SLGBTQ plus youth are not safe in our Catholic schools. Ross also criticized suggestions from delegates who were against the motion. She says one of the most offensive was to fly a different flag. Symbols are very important to communities, especially equity denied communities. Um, they communicate a universal and ubiquitous message. And you know, for us in the same way that the cross represents to Christians and Catholics around the world, that they are welcome and lets them know that they are welcome to be who they are in a specific state. So too does the rainbow flag to our community. And so students look for that flag. It's a visible marker. Um, we often like to talk about it as like a bat signal, right? <laughs> to make that analogy, it's a symbol like, hey, you're needed, you, you're wanted here. And um, we look for it. Our community looks for it in June. And when we don't see it, that absence is very telling to us. Um, so that's I think we were very troubled by the notion that the board of trustees and the delegations felt that they could play around with that important symbol for our community. In P. Flag Halton's statement, the organization also issued a call to action to offer support. Ross says not only are they encouraging 2SLGBTQ plus youth to reach out to them, but also the staff and teachers within the Catholic Board who do not feel safe to be who they are. She says they want them to know that they have a whole community around them. We're also very explicitly... Uh, welcoming stories that they have experienced. We want to know about the discrimination that our students and our staff and our community are facing within these schools because one of the conversations uh, from the delegation on Tuesday night was that there's not enough data to support the raising of the flag. And we know that there is data. So PFLAG Halton would let, would, will happily conduct that study uh, for the community in order to give that data a uh, way to fly that flag. Initially, the HCDSB would have revisited this motion in their May 4th board meeting, but it has been pushed up to a special meeting scheduled for April 26th. As to whether she thinks the board will pass this motion, Ross says they are cautiously optimistic, but incredibly skeptical. Um, I think for the Halton Catholic District School Board, this is a moment of impasse for them, uh, a moment of contemplation, and frankly, from what we're hearing from the community, a moment of reckoning. We have heard from parents who have reached out to us saying that they are willing to pull their children out of Halton Catholic District School Boards if they refuse to fly the pride flag. We have heard from students who would like to transfer and no longer work there. We have also confidentially heard from staff and teachers who have told us explicitly that they will be looking to apply to the public school board because they no longer feel comfortable working for an organization that promotes values that go against their personal beliefs and morals around inclusivity. So I think that this has really brought forward a moment of contemplation for the school board. We are also very encouraged and where we are finding hope and resilience and the, the desire to continue to push forward is we have received countless emails. We have received uh, engagement across Canada. Like this has now become a national topic within our community about people wanting to know how they can support. And we are definitely taking steps to prepare for what happens if the motion is not passed and how we can mobilize and continue to demonstrate action. There is a petition circulating on change.org to support this motion with nearly 5,000 signatures so far. Just search supporting 2SL GBTQ plus members of HCDSB. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.